Welcome to Back Into Fishing. I'm here today at Gunner's Lake. I'm only going to fish a couple of spots. I'm only going to hear, be here for an hour or two. I had some, let's call it work done on my uh, left foot a couple of days ago and I just wanted to see what the pain level was out walking around and standing. So thus being the short day and I'm going to start here at the uh, log that's been good to me in the past, see if I can get any fish. Okay, I'm here at the tree. I got my uh, trusty Ned rig with me. Can't really see under the log very much to see if there's anybody in here. But uh, we'll, we'll give it a couple of pitches in here and see if we have any luck. Bugs are eating me up. I'm not going to stay here too long. More snags in the bottom than I remember. We'll just give it one quick pitch here over the log the other side. I've caught one there before. Hop it back over and then I think we'll Head on. Well, the tree didn't pay off with any fish, so I'm gonna start with uh, some of these small access areas to the lake. This one I just can't cast out beyond the weeds so I'll make a couple casts in here in front of them and see if I get anything. I got something in here a couple of times back so maybe luck will hold out. Well, something was biting my wacky rig, so yep, first pan fish of the day. Leaving that bluegill was a one-off, so come down to the next spot here. Can actually get to some a uh, bit deeper water here. So we'll spend maybe five minutes here, make half a dozen casts in this area. See if the wacky rig can uh, dredge anything up here. I'll have to pitch it. There's no overhead space here to uh, cast and there's not even any over spa overhead space here to set the hook. This spot hasn't produced a bite. Uh, one or two more casts here. I think I'm going to move on. I've gotten down here to the dock area. I'm about halfway to the, back to the car. Got the uh, second bluegill of the day. About medium size for this lake. I wonder if my hook is too big. Maybe they'll come up and bite at it and let go of it right away unless one comes up and inhales it in. I'm not catching anything on it. Usually these uh, Berkeley maggots are pretty good, but I'm not doing it today. And that said, and caught another one. 
I'm going to grab the wacky rig here in a minute and start throwing it out here for the, see if I get a bass. It's been a while since I had any kind of a bite or anything. Even just trying for these bluegills, it's probably been 15 minutes, but not a half decent size one just now. The uh, Berkeley Gulp Live Minnow. Uh, good size, I guess, for this lake. I've caught them bigger. Well, I stopped at this spot. I've never been here before. Made five or six casts into here, and then uh, just the last cast, picked one up. Not a bad bass. Maybe about 13 and a half, 14 inches long. Nice one. Get him off the hook and get him back in the water. Well, this is just a small opening here. Definitely never fished in this before. It's only about 10 by 10 foot of open area there, but hey, it's worth a cast or two. So this is the last spot for the day. Now, the last time I was here, I did catch one in here. Maybe the luck will repeat itself. Nice big no, black snake. That's a first for me seeing one. See where he goes, what he does. He's in my spot. End of another trip, another day, another bass. I really wish I'd had the camera on to catch that one, but uh, I didn't expect to catch anything there, so I didn't. But uh, anyway, any day I walk away with a keeper sized bass, I'm happy. Um, in all the years I've lived in this area, this is the first time I've ever seen anything other than a water snake or a garter snake. So that, uh, what I believe was a black snake was a definitely, you know, something, let's call it something different. But uh, anyway, that brings to end another video. So until next time, thanks for watching.